Del Mar Dog Life. Not in Del Mar, in Alboa Park. I am with Zuko this morning. Guest dog Zuko, Labrador with Whippet Mix. Host dog Annie, really hard working dog Annie. Out in, the, out in the walk in Alboa Park. I just got Zuko today and uh, getting to know him. I'm dropping off camp this week. So we're going to walk them out here. It's not too far away. Balboa Park's a wonderful, wonderful spot to walk dogs. I already met a lot of dogs here today. And uh, in, the, in the plaza, I think I'm going to head over to the gardens area. This nice open space, San Diego Museum of Art. So many museums, great place to walk dogs. Uh, I have a sponsor, T. Melia. T. Melia T. Great Tea, Great Life. T E A M E L L I A. Teas shipped to your home from the U.S. Okay, so uh, talking, talking rates and uh, services about overnight in a home, house sitting versus pet sitting, and what to charge. So r slash pet sitting. Uh, person is been doing lots of dog walking before and got uh, an offer to do house sitting and so she's going to be watching two dogs in someone's home uh, for two nights and she's wondering what to charge and uh, so there is a bit of discussion uh, so uh, because she's she's going to be sleeping in their home overnight and um, I guess it works for her uh, sleeping in your home overnight um, and she, I, I, she's wondering what to what to charge, and I, I suggested at least sixty dollars. But um, you know, when other someone else mentioned it, oh, you're sleeping in the home, and uh, what that ends up being about four dollars an hour, because the, uh, the does a custom, what does a customer expect from you um, while you're house sitting for that rate? What are they expecting? Are they expecting to stay? In your home, 24 hours. Are they expecting to uh, to maybe just uh, visit two or three times a day, two or three visits a day, and then uh, and then you also sleep, or they are they expecting just two or three visits a day to uh, check on their dog, walk their dog, and then uh, you're not going to stay overnight. So those are three different options for house sitting. Okay, um, so I, I have not done house sitting before. Uh, I almost entirely board in my home, and then I have some dogs that I walk on a weekly basis, and um, so I haven't done the house sitting part, uh, mostly because I, I don't understand why they would expect me to sleep in their home. I um, what what exactly are they expecting, and uh, should the rate the rate needs to apply to it? So, you know, I have that option, uh, sixty dollars, and I, I included that now on my profile because I can uh, watch dogs who are large and extra large and giant dogs if they're going to stay in their home. I will watch them for uh, sixty dollars. Uh, a night, a day, you know, either way, because I'm, I'm not sleeping there. Um, I'm, I would probably, I'm, I'm going to get them in the morning. Uh, they're going, I'm going to pick them up in the morning, and they're going to stay with me uh, for a few hours, and then um, come back again in the evening, and uh, a few hours in the evening, and then uh, I'm going to, um, you know, not stay over. So I'm going to have a couple visits. Uh, just check on to on, on the safety. Um, so, some uh, some guests are expecting uh, more services beyond that. They are wanting uh, you know what are the plants? They're expecting you to maybe um, you know stay stay over. They're expecting you to uh, check the mail for you and, and bring the mail in. Um, sometimes they're expecting you to like do some light cleaning, you know, they'll, they'll ask that, I, for what I, oh, well, what is that you just ate? Well, next to the tea pavilion, 
so there's probably a lot of snacks on the ground. So the, so really I think you have to just decide what your service is for house sitting. Are you going to stay over? Because uh, if you're going to stay over the night and, and make it a single dog, because if you're house sitting just one 24 hours, you cannot have multiple, multiple guests. You can't, you can't um, house sit multiple houses at once if you're sleeping overnight. But if you're doing uh, health and safety checks, then yes, yes, you can house sit multiple homes at a time because you know I I would go and I would get one dog from one home and get them with the rest of the pack and go drive them places and then you know ha have them hang out uh, outside uh, together for a few hours and then I'd return the, each dog back to their home you know make sure they're fed oh I, actually I would feed them before I left relieved and then uh, I would come back in the morning you know when they, you know, 5 to 8 a.m. and uh, pick them up again. And so they're going to sleep in their own home, but they're not going to be having another person there. Uh, they may just be just fine on their own. Uh, if you're sleeping over, I've heard, depending on the area, rates of $200 a night because that is actually what actually reflects uh, the amount of work that you would need. Uh, to stay overnight and and, and uh, for the amount of hours 24 hours in a day care you're providing you, one thing you're providing home security especially if it's you know a larger home and, and, and they want someone to, um, to show that so, you know someone's there because they're worried about you know people breaking in while they're gone or knowing and they want someone to keep an eye on it you're actually providing security as well so I've heard rates up to $200 a night. This is the uh, concert hall, outdoor concert hall. The organ, someone, uh, someone's getting married. Look at that, she's in her wedding dress. That's really beautiful. I'm not gonna go over there and bother her though, or get near the person. But yeah, people do get married here a lot. You'll see a lot of weddings in Balboa Park. Or just, it's a very, it's a good place for photographs. You know, um, people come just to have photos of them in their wedding outfit from another location, another venue. They'll go to the Japanese gardens over here and they'll take photos as well. Or behind, you know, structures like this. So, <laughs> so yeah, going back to it. Uh, overnight, um, it's, if, if you're going to be able to, oh, what was that? Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. What is that? Leave it. Leave it. Okay, he did. He, he dropped it. So he is, he's actually kind of helpful there with that. Yeah, so definitely uh, you have to have your rates reflect that. And if you think that you're in an area that doesn't support that because everyone's rates are low on this, it's simply because you're all lowballing each other and racing to the bottom. So if you, ha if you start reflecting your rates according to the actual work involved. Now I know if you're on a platform like WAG where they put a cap on the area, the maximum amount of what you're going to be doing, then I would suggest if you're on WAG, do not ever do overnights unless you can charge more than $100 a night. Don't, don't sleep in someone's home unless you can charge more than $100 a night because you're, you're giving so much value and work if you're going to be staying for a couple of days. It's not really, um, it's kind of hard for the effort for, you know, to watch one solo dog in their home. And then you're away from your own home, too, for that time. So if you have, uh, I've heard other stories of people who, if, if the person's grandma was sick, and uh, so she, she, went at, she went in the middle of the night to go check on her grandma, and then the, 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 cust the, the customer's owner, the guest's, owner started texting her in the middle of the night wondering why she wasn't there and you know just start and, and or would uh, constantly send messages about the home and uh, that so I feel that kind of service is also a lot more demanding from the owner uh, you uh, they they were they're asking for a lot more they're requiring a lot more 
the prices have to reflect it because of so many uh, so many hours and you can't really um, expand you can't expand your services like you would with dog walking or or boarding or daycare in your home where you can have a couple of dogs and um, for as a side side money that's not really going to work um, because you're spending you're doing so much time you're just wrapping everything up aren't you all right let's try it again let's try it again all this noise here Next to making a bunch of racket every time I have to switch hands it goes in the camera it goes in the microphone so yeah reflect have your prices reflect that and, and accurately define your house sitting services about what you expect on rover it has the options of are you staying overnight in their home will you be will you be staying that's one of the questions it asks and i select i don't have that op option and so my house sitting uh i also changed it and, and increased it 60 dollars because i know i'm going to be doing bigger dogs if i want more if I want to work with bigger dogs, it's okay. Uh, if it's in their home, the uh, the issue isn't as big. And I don't have to have the same worry about, oh, they're living with a senior dog or which dogs mix. Because, you know, they're already separated. And I'll know if I, if I bring them in a pack uh, in the car, if I go pick them up in the car in the pack, then... Um, I'll know by then, like, I don't have to 